Hi, this video is to show you how to use the bulk inventory linking inside Giant Light. So after you have added your sales channel, the products from your sales channel will be pulled back into Site Giant Light and they will be showing under product sales channel listing. If I click into my Shopee listing, I will then able to see all my Shopee products showing under listed products and however, they will be showing under no inventory linking as well. This means that there are no connection or linking for the products between the seller center and site giant light. Bulk inventory linking is used to link the products that you have in your seller center to the inventory items in site giant light. So that when the linking is done, you are able to control the inventory levels between multiple marketplaces through site giant light. Firstly, you will need to decide which store do you want to use to be the product standard in site giant light. I would suggest for you to use the store that have the most complete listing, which have the most product and the SKU are properly entered so that the linking process can be easier later on. And if you are asking, what if I am selling the same products in different marketplaces, then what should I do? You will just need to ensure that the same product and its variants are having the same SKU across all seller centers. Now, let me show you how to use the bulk inventory linking inside Giant Light. Firstly, go into marketplaces and select this purple icon for bulk inventory linking. Then, you will need to select the main store that you have decided earlier. For this demo, I'll select my Shopee store and then click on save. The system will then sync the products and its variants from the seller center to site giant light. Please be patient while we sync the data. The more product that you have in your seller center, the longer the time needed to fully sync all of the data back into site giant light. Once it is done, click into bug inventory linking again. Select the main store that you have selected earlier. Then you can see your products being listed at the bottom part of the screen. The ones on the left are the products and variants from your seller center and the ones from the right are the products from site giant light, which from now onwards will be known as inventory items. If this is your first linking, all the products and variants from the seller center will be duplicated to the right. Please look through the listing and the pages and ensure that all of them are draft linked with the same ISKU. And if you have any products that are bundled products, please do remove the linking by clicking on the reset button as bundled products will need to be handled separately by using kits. If you have products that are listed multiple times in your seller center, also known as multi-listing, you will then need to reset the linking to the multi-listed products, then link it to the same ISKU as the main listing. Once you have searched and entered the correct ISKU, you can click on confirm or the bulk confirm button as all of the multi-listing products shares the same inventory, hence they will need to link to the same inventory item inside Giant Light. If you do not have any SKU from your seller center, do not worry, the system will also auto-generate the ISKU for you. And if you don't want to link the product for now, you can click on the reset button to remove the draft linking momentarily. But remember to link it back when you are ready in the future. If you have noticed, the linking status at the center is showing draft linking. This means that the linking is not fully done. Once you have checked through the listing, click on the review draft listing button at the top right corner. And if you wish to double confirm, you may check again from this page. And if everything is correct, you can then click on confirm and save listing. Upon clicking on OK, the system will then create an inventory item for each of the product and variants and link them accordingly. Once the linking is done, you can then go into inventory, all inventory items. From here, you can see all of the items that were linked from that channel. It is normal to see the total number of ISKU are more than the listed product in Shopee or Lazada listing. This is because the product with variants will be created as individual items or ISKU. And from here, you can select the product of the same group and set parent SKU for them. This is for you to keep the ISKU more organized and it will be easier for you to filter the related products and to perform further action in the future. And if you come back into bulk inventory linking and select the main store, you will see that the status of the linking has changed from draft linking to linked. This means that your product has been linked properly. Probably now you have this question in mind, how do I link my products from the other seller centers into Site Giant Light? So what you need to do is click into the bulk inventory linking, select the new store that you want to link to. If the SKU from this store is the same as the main store, the inventory items will be auto-populated on the right. 
and what you need to do from here you can click on this confirm button on the variant level or you can click debug confirm button at the parent level besides that you can also click on the confirm button at the top right corner of the page to confirm all of the products from this page if you do not have the SKU from the second store or the SKU from the second store is different than the SKU from the first store you will then need to link it to the correct ISKU as well this is one of the reasons why we encourage all of our users to organize their SKU from their seller center so that it will ease the linking process later on if there are products in this second store that you do not have in the main store you can just click on the insert button or click on the bulk insert button the system will then create an inventory item for all those products once all of the products from the second store are showing the draft linking status you can then repeat the process of clicking on the review draft listing button and confirm and save listing after you have linked the inventory items you can then go back into products to your shopee or your lazada listing you can see the numbers from the no inventory linking decreasing and eventually it will reach zero this means that all of the products from the seller center is now linked properly with the inventory items inside giant light so once the inventory is linked, the inventory levels will then be synced from site giant light to all of the related channels. If you want to hold your channels from receiving the stock updates from site giant light while you are still doing the bulk inventory linking, kindly go into settings, select sales channel, click on the gearbox icon, disable the update stock button. By doing this, the inventory level from site giant light will not be updated to that particular sales channel. Once you are ready for the channel to receive the latest stock update from Site Giant Light, you can then come back here and enable the update stock button again. Then the latest inventory level will be updated to that particular channel. I would like to take this opportunity to explain the differences between all inventory items and product listing. Product listing here is directly linked to your seller center and if you wish to make any changes and sync it over to your seller center, you can click into the product over here update the details from this page and click on the update button whereas for all inventory items they are linked directly to your product listing to update and control the inventory levels if you click on the number of listings from here you will be directed to the product relationship page where you can see how many products from which marketplace channel is linked to this item so this is how you use the bulk inventory linking to link your product from different stores into site giant light thank you for watching the video